Hello Hero War players welcome back to Eagle Eye Gaming my name is Asad and in today's video I will discuss about best use of Dorian or who Dorian work good with after watching this video you will know the importance of heroes original placement versus their placement in team support heroes in your team and more as in recent video i discussed top 20 heroes played by royal league guild in september 2022 and there we see dorian as one of the hero hence i consider making this video to discuss my opinion on best use of dorian so are you ready let's get into it first of all dorian is backline hero who provides physical attack boost to the team with his artifact weapon but it doesn't mean he will only be useful with physical attacker second his most powerful skill is his fourth skill which provides vampirism aura to nearest allies means the closest allies will heal themselves with each time basic and passive skills attack the stronger the closest allies strikes the opponent the more they will heal themselves i hope till here you understand what i discussed now being a backline hero he is really useful if we add backline or at least middle line damage dealers or mixture of backline and middle line damage dealers with him instead of managing front line heroes to bring it closer to dorian for example ju is front line damage dealer but we can still get him closer to dorian if we add other front line heroes like andy and tank in front of ju then ju will get advantage of dorian aura for sure but you have ruined the whole team placement and you will be countered easily by opponents as the game mechanic works great when your hero's placement or position of your team is good guys this is so important let me repeat it your team placement is the most important things you need to focus when you are building any team for example if you have all front line heroes it makes really weird placement of team and a single arachne will counter you so easily with stun or andy and faceless Actually you have given the edge to opponents to kill you easily. You know why people use cleaver or faceless or dante in team to displace your hero's original placement and it makes your team weaker. There are exceptional cases like when we add Galahad as tank who push forward and make your team position good again like Galahad, Andy, Ju, Dorian but still not recommended. Second, Dorian works great with AoE damage dealers as compared to single target damage dealers like Iris, Zisha and Lilith, Kira, Helios and Orion etc. And with those who deals area of effect damage from auto attack like iris for example with dorian is amazing because no matter if opponent stun you still your damage dealers will gain health points constantly and hence it makes iris dorian one of the perfect combo nowadays or zisha and lilith with dorian is just perfect use of dorian regarding single damage dealer i used word as compared to because i doesn't mean they are not good with dorian at all of course they are useful as well with e3d edd which finish opponent's line in no time and with ginger isaac team third Keep in mind that adding Dorian gives your team advantage which outweigh disadvantages mean do you have enough penetration to penetrate opponent's armor and magic defense are you removing hero for Dorian which has penetration weapon as artifact like in Kira case mostly we remove Morrigan which has penetration weapon so is it wise decision do you have enough penetration to penetrate opponent's armor or in IRS team where we normally use Phobos Iris with Dorian Morgan and Corvus. You can add Lilith instead of Phobos for penetration and Tristan with Kira for penetration and you will still have good positions of your heroes. Let me recap it quickly. Hero placement is necessary to keep in mind when adding Dorian. Dorian works great with area of effect damage dealers as compared to single target damage dealers. Do adding Dorian gives you advantage more than disadvantages? That's it for today guys give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you and click on subscribe and notification icon so you won't miss my upcoming videos and I will see you in next video until that take care and bye.